Let's start from the basics. We will show off the basic movement. First, place your right foot in front of your opponent's right foot. Using your right foot as an axis, bring your left foot across and step on it. At the same time, raise your left hand directly above, not in front of you. Rotate your hip across and place your opponent firmly on your hips. Let's take a look at another angle. Keep your back and hip in close contact. This will enable you to control your opponent. This is the basic method. Up next, I will explain more of a competition style. The most important point in this technique is, is to lift the opponent's right hand with your left hand. You have to remove the grip of the opponent's right hand. However, this will be difficult in randori. As you can see, it is in the way, blocking and in the way, in the way, and in the way, and in the way. I will explain how to remove it. Notice how I used my left hand. Instead of sliding it to the side, raise it straight up. I will lift it like this. Another point is to shift the opponent's surete down your lapel a little bit. If the opponent's surete hand is in a high position on your lapel, it will block you easily. It will get in your way. Break the opponent's surete grip and then enter. Another way is to use Hisaguruma and then Sode. Circle your opponent in and shift his weight to connect to Sode. By doing this, the elbow of the opponent's surete hand will be extended, making it easier to break away. You can do it left or right. Sode can be used against a top grip. By stretching your chest and raising your head, your opponent's elbow will be stretched. The next method is to use Osoto as a feint. It is effective when the opponent's surete hand does not have my lapel. Be careful not to let go of your right hand. If you let go of your right, hand, you can change to another technique. 